So we are going to warm up tomorrow compared to today, I tell you, because normal this time of year is 41 degrees. We hit 36 today in Evansville. We're going to be a little bit warmer, if you can call it that, tomorrow morning, uh, uh, tomorrow afternoon, rather. But nonetheless, it's just still going to be a downright chilly day by January standards. It's normal, but it is going to be a winter day. But the breeze will not be too bad tomorrow. It was kind of breezy today. Not so much tomorrow, but when you have temperatures in the upper 30s and lower 40s, it doesn't take much to really throw a wind chill out there. There. Three mile per hour wind will start giving you a wind chill. So you can see tomorrow morning and by the afternoon, really not much of a wind to talk about because there's not much difference between the temperature of 39 versus the wind chill there of 36. But by the afternoon, you can see the winds are still going to keep us feeling like we're in the upper 30s, even though we're going to have highs tomorrow in the afternoon in the lower 40s. So just kind of be prepared. The jacket's got to be necessary and the sun will be out for a little bit tomorrow morning. So don't let that deceive you either by any means. But still, a cloudy camera right now that's on top of the fifth third bank or i mark camera looking towards downtown evansville had the coliseum still all lit up as you see down there that parking lot was full this afternoon when i was looking at this camera because all the folks chowing down at the third annual wing fest sound like it was a big success down in that direction evansville right now with the mostly cloudy skies coming in here at 31 degrees but as we go throughout the overnight hours you can see we're going to keep ourselves in the green no big issues to talk about in even the clouds kind of thing out too so you know let's just go to one o'clock in the morning and see how it's looking you can see a little bit more clear sky than what we have going on right now. So kind of a partly cloudy sky overnight tonight. Upper 20s are going to be our lows tonight. Tomorrow morning here at 5 o'clock, though, you can see the clouds already kind of wanting to begin to thicken up just a little bit. And as we get ready for maybe 8 o'clock, that's when a lot of folks start getting up. You can see some sun is breaking through. Temperatures right about 30 degrees, but that's going to be really about it when it comes to sunshine for tomorrow, because by the afternoon, especially along and south of the Ohio River, that's when things are going to be getting fairly cloudy. And still a little bit of a breeze outside right now. Now, not much, but it's still a little bit west of the three now. And like I said, it only takes a three mile per hour wind to create a wind chill. It was kind of breezy today. Had winds overall kind of sustained around 10 miles per hour, but overnight tonight and into the rest of the week, not a big deal with the winds. But some folks now, we've had a couple locations below or at, at freezing. We now we've got some folks below the freezing mark, like Fairfield coming in at 30 degrees, right at freezing over in Carmi, but still down in Greenville, 35, Beaver Dam at 37 degrees. Here is live for Swarning Doppler. Despite all the clouds, the rain really came to an end about 10 to 11 o'clock this morning. It was mainly confined down here to Hopkins County, down towards Ohio County and Muhlenberg counties. In fact, Muhlenberg County, at least on the radar, was showing a little bit of snow action going on down in that direction early this morning. But since everything has moved on out of here, network Dopplers are all quiet. Storm Tracker still not quiet because it's still showing a lot of clouds. But you can see we do have really almost along the Wabash River now. That's where some of the breaks are beginning to take place. So let's go to Future Tracker and just time this all out for you. Let you know what to expect as we get to the end of our weekend. You can see Future Tracker does have the clouds breaking up just a little bit. More so clouds, though, down in western Kentucky. So tomorrow morning, sunrise is about 7. I do expect to see a little bit of sunshine tomorrow morning. Not a clear sky by any means. By the afternoon, though, and late afternoon, we start clouding things right back up to a mostly cloudy sky. And I'm not going to rule out maybe tomorrow late day into early evening. A few spotty showers in Hopkins, Muhlenberg, and Ohio's counties. Basically, right along the parkway there are the best chances for rain. But some models do bring that a little further to the north. So I'm going to put a small chance of rain for Evansville. Our Monday does look to be fairly cloudy at times. Some sun peeking through. Better chances for sun will be down along the parkway, as you see here. But otherwise, fairly cloudy for our Monday. Rain chances are less than 15%. I didn't put it on the seven-day forecast. Future Tracker is not too concerned about it either. Then for our Tuesday, as you see there, just a lot more clouds to talk about and no rain chances. Although, on Tuesday, we'll have to watch that one because there could be maybe late afternoon to early evening some snow showers wanting to break out. Does not look to be anything major. Our next chance for precipitation, Friday morning. That could be rain mixing with some snow. That does not look to be a big deal either. Otherwise, a very typical January forecast, unfortunately, with highs in the lower 40s, Amanda, and lots of clouds to talk about for the week ahead. All right. Thanks, Joe. Yeah.